my beautiful peacocks out there. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today's video is going to be a very small haul. Yes, I've only picked up four new fragrances. I do have a couple of fragrances that are on their way, but I thought I would go ahead and put this up for y'all and kind of go over uh, some of these fragrances and not in depth, but you know, just tell you a little bit about each one. So if you're interested in watching this haul video, just keep watching. Let's go ahead and just jump right into the video. Let's don't waste any time. Let's check out what I bought. So the first fragrance that I'm going to be talking about is a fragrance that I basically hunted down. I went to Houston several weeks ago and I went into the Ulta and I said, I'm just going to, you know, spray some perfumes and see if there's anything that really, you know, captivates me and, you know, something that I want to purchase. And I hardly ever do that anymore. I blind buy so many fragrances that it's just crazy, but they all seem to work out for me. I sprayed several perfumes. I want to say probably 20 perfumes. I had them on my skin. I had them on the little tester strips and I didn't like notate, you know, like each one. And so, you know, I just kind of sprayed them all and I, nothing really like hit me at first except this one and I didn't go back over to it and it wasn't until like later because I guess the scents you know there were so many scents that I had sprayed that I was just kind of like bombarded and I couldn't like discern each scent but I got into the car and you know on our way home and I just kept smelling this scent and I kept telling my husband I said Mike you know this fragrance is just blowing me away. I don't know what this is that I sprayed, but I'm gonna have to come back and spray this because I cannot, for the life of me, remember what it was. I kinda had my thoughts about what it might be, but I wasn't 100% sure. So I got home that evening and I said, okay, I think this is the perfume. I just kind of did like a process of elimination, the perfumes that I sprayed and I looked at the notes and everything and so I said this has got to be the perfume but I'm not 100% sure but I went ahead and did a blind buy so I purchased it on a line on the fragrance net website and of course it just arrived here just recently but I went back to Houston and lo and behold I had already purchased it from fragrance net and it was on its way but lo and behold I found out what the fragrance was so with all that said, after all of that, this is the fragrance. It's the one that I actually showed on the thumbnail of the video, and it's by Givenchy, and it is Ange ou de mon les secrets. And this is the box, and this is the bottle. So, <laughs> had I known that this was really the scent, had I known what I know now, I would have not have just purchased this. I think this is the 1.7 ounce. Let, let me read the box. 1.7 fluid ounce. Had I known, I would have gotten the bigger bottle of this because I am crazy about this fragrance. So, let me just take this lid off. Oh my God. This fragrance is bright, like effervescent bright, like right off the bat. But then it becomes this fruity floral scent and on the dry down it becomes sweeter, but it lasts forever on my skin. And I wanna think this is, no, it's an Eau de Parfum. I thought it was an Eau de Toilette, but it is an Eau de Parfum, so but this lasts forever on my skin and I have told several people I told my friend Vix Mix if you don't watch her go to her channel Vix Mix I also told Alex who does reviews for um, celebrity fragrances and he's kind of getting into you know designer fragrances but 
Um, he is a specialist for celebrity fragrances. He's the bomb.com. But he has a channel called Among the Stars Perfume Reviews. And so I'll leave links to their channels down below. But I kept telling them over and over again. And also Scent Bubbles. I think I told Leslie, who is uh, Scent Bubbles. I think I told her as well. But I was just like, I don't know what this fragrance is. But it just captivated me. It blew me away. It just fell head over heels with this fragrance. And... I'm so thankful that I found out what this fragrance is and that I actually purchased it. I mean, it's ugh, it smells so good. You're gonna have to sniff this. Ulta has this. Go check it out. Your bigger Ulta stores has the Givenchy, am I saying this right? Ange Odemon line. Um, but it's just, it smells so good on my skin. You may have it, you may not like it, it may not be for you, but it's something that I fell in love with. So this was such a great find for me. Okay, the next fragrance. Now this fragrance was kind of hyped all over YouTube and Instagram. I see everybody with this fragrance. So this was another blind buy for me. And this is Valentino Donna. And of course the bottle is gorgeous. And, of course, I got this on FragranceNet also. So here is the bottle. It has this little, because it doesn't have like a cap to it. It just has this little plastic protector. And this is the bottle, and it's really gorgeous. Such a gorgeous bottle. I really, really love it. The atomizer is wonderful. And this perfume, when you first smell it, it kind of smelled old to me like a more mature person and then as you spray it let me spray it oh. as you spray it it's very elegant it's very rich it's almost like a you know like you would think okay this bottle of perfume would probably be you know in one of those fancy you know, a higher end store that you know just would have like all these designer um, items high-end items high fashion and then you have this perfume so that's what I think it smells very rich to me very high-end and classy now as far as like the fragrance itself it's kind of powdery to me it's not like juicy or like super sweet it does have some sweetness and softness to it but it's more like a um, like a cashmere soft, like you're wearing a cashmere sweater soft. But it also is kind of light. It dances on your skin, so I think that you know this would be good for spring. But it's just a it's a really nice fragrance. So this is Valentino Donna. Okay, and this fragrance I actually purchased at Ulta, and the reason I paid full price for it, and but I didn't pay full price, but I mean, I did get it in Ulta. But I had a $15 coupon, and I also had $20 in Ulta points, which, you know, really helped out. But I saw this, and I'm like, okay, I have to have this. And they didn't have a tester, so I just bought it. And of course, I bought the one fluid ounce, and it is by Dolce & Gabbana, and it's called The Only One and had I known this is another one that I would have purchased the large bottle this fragrance I've already started wearing it this fragrance smells so good I even love it more than just you know Dolce & Gabbana's the one the only one look at this bottle love it it's so classy so chic but this fragrance oh, it is so good it's sweet, but it also has some like floral goodness to it. I mean, but it's also rich. I thoroughly enjoyed this fragrance so far. I've only had it for such a short period of time, but this is a really nice fragrance. And if you would like me to do a, a review over any of these fragrances, just let me know. This is a really gorgeous scent, you guys, and I think that you should go out and test this fragrance. This is the only one by Dolce & Gabbana, and I really think you should go out and sample it. So, yeah, I had to get this one. I'm so glad that I did. It was basically like a blind buy in the store, even though they had 
these in the packages, but they're sealed. So I didn't have anything to sample, but it's, it was a great purchase. Okay, and the last purchase, I had to save this for last, but here we don't have like really good items at our TJ Maxx or Marshalls or it's just so hard to come by good products at our stores. Everything's picked over. I don't know if that's the problem, but I just never can hardly find anything. And if I do, I'm so excited about it. But this was actually found in Houston, right behind the Galleria, the TJ Maxx. But this is So Sweet by Lolita Limpica. This is it here. And I peeled back the sticker. I actually got this set for $20, if you can see that. But I peeled back the sticker and it says compare at $96 and then their price, their original price was $59.99 but it was on the clearance for $20 for this set. So, and it's so cute. It comes in this decorative box and then it has this little cord that um, you pull this out, it's a drawer. And it has the fragrance and then it has the lotion. So it was like a whole set. Just opening it, <laughs> It smells so good. And that's exactly what this is, is sweet. Now here is the bottle, which is really, really cute. And it just smells really, really sweet. Oh my goodness. It's like a floral sweet, but it's juicy too. But it has that little bit of powderiness that Lolita Limpica has, if you have that one, um, just like the original one, but it has that little bit of powderiness to it, but it smells absolutely divine. I really, really love it. I love sweet scents, so you know it's right up my alley, but I thought this was a great purchase. I was super excited to pick this up. Okay, so that wraps up my little haul there. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And I would love to know if you've picked up any new fragrances. And of course, like I said, I have a couple more fragrances coming, but I have some videos that are in the works. So definitely, you know, make sure that you are um, hitting that notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you'll be notified. And of course, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Definitely hit that subscribe button today. Hit that notification bell. And also, if you enjoyed this video today, leave me some comments. Give me a thumbs up. Also, I'll appreciate those thumbs up. And love chatting with you. And I can't wait to talk to you after this video airs. And I hope that y'all have a wonderful evening. And I look forward to seeing y'all in my next video. Bye, y'all.